ici. See the shadow of the hands. Mm -hmm. See how I can grip or I can pinch. It's good shadow. Yeah, it's good shadow. And you can see it on the floor. Yeah, yeah you can see all the shadows. Okay, turn to me. And uh, hello, everybody. I'm T.H. Culhane, and I'm teaching the Envisioning Sustainability class at the Patel College of Sustainability, where we're trying to model different sustainability possibilities for different neighborhoods, whether it's in Serbia, Captain Mishka's place, which Anas and I are working on, on the Danube River, or it's here at Rosebud Continuum, where we're still fighting development by unscrupulous <coughs> and unimaginative developers like Katie Holmes. We are working on ways of demonstrating to the communities what the future landscape use could look like, and let them walk through, fly through, and interact with it before decisions are made to so-called break the ground, to plow and dig under a bulldozer or build. So this technology enables democratization, and the only thing is that it takes a while to learn all the skills, and we're setting this up for VR. And one of the big hassles that I've found that's a real deterrent to continuing to do this development is every time I take the headset off, in order to check uh, what I'm working on here and toggle a new parameter, the Oculus Quest immediately shuts off. And then when I put the headset back on, it has that annoying uh, lock, pattern lock. And you have to then go in with your controller and do the pattern lock if you even remember it. And then put the headset on and then reestablish the AirLink connection with the computer. And then you have to start the program and get in. And it's such a pain because every time you take this off, it goes into sleep mode, and there is a sensor in the Oculus that I just discovered, which is what makes it do that. And if we cover that sensor up, then we won't have that problem. So you can see the sensor, it's right there. See that thing there? And when I tried putting my finger over it, then you can see the headset comes back to life. But if I take my finger off, then the headset will go off did there. So I put my finger back on, the headset comes back on. And if you leave it off for too long, then it's going to go out, kick you out of the program, and you'll have to go through all those hassles. So what I'm going to do instead now is I'm going to just take a piece, I guess I'm going to let it turn off now and you'll see the hassle. I'm just going to take a piece of masking tape and cut it to size. And by putting the masking tape on the sensor, I should be able to continue my work session without that hassle. So I'm going to take that piece of tape and put it on the sensor. So I'm going to cover the whole sensor. Let me take another piece of tape. Maybe it's better if I have a bigger piece of tape. Yeah. I'm going to just going to eye, well, eyeball this. So a piece of masking tape here and cover up the sensor. All right. So there we go. Sensor is now covered. Now that this should believe that I'm on. But if you look inside, you can see now there's that annoying unlocking pattern. And if you can get in there and yeah, see those dots, can you get all the way in there? Here. So now when I get back into the headset, I can do all of my work, but if I choose to take off the headset, I can even put the headset down and it will still work. It doesn't turn off because I covered it with that piece of masking tape there. So it really is the lifesaver for those of us who are doing development work to be able to take that headset off and not have it kick us out of the program. Because now I can do work and take it on, put it off, take it on, take it off, put it on, <laughs> I got that backwards. And just continue without the locking pattern, having to unlock and reboot and back into the program and all that annoying stuff. So there you are. Just put a piece of masking tape over that. You can always take it off at the end of your session. Um, but that's really gonna help. And forget about that, it's not a, that's not a relevant piece of tape. That just came on the thing. Okay, the tape has to go in here. And that's it. See how effective that is? And then I can just put these on and continue my work. So nice little hack there for those who are experiencing the same problem. So happy VRing.